Let us start with a short story. Many years ago, in a small village called Kishanpur, lived two friends, Danu and Mishri. Danu's father worked on a fishing boat. Danu's mother sold the fish at the village market. Danu's parents were not interested in sending Danu to school. They wanted him to grow big and strong quickly to help them with catching and selling fish. Mishri's parents worked as farm laborers on paddy fields. Mishri's parents wanted Mishri to study and make a good career for herself. So while Mishri started going to the village school, Danu spent all his time roaming around in the village. Mishri's parents took her to the doctor every time she was sick. Danu's parents could not afford good medical care for him and he developed a chronic liver disease. In a few years, Mishri completed her schooling and went on to take a vocational course or training in computer applications. Danu, on the other hand, kept too sick to even get trained as a fisherman. Today, Mishri earns a good salary working in an office in a nearby city. Danu makes a meager living selling fish in the village market. Both Danu and Mishri came from the same village and from quite similar family backgrounds. So, why is Mishri's present situation far better than Danu's? The three things that made Mishri achieve a better position in life than Danu are education, good health care and training. Uneducated, untrained and unhealthy people like Danu are a nation's liability. Such people find it difficult to care for themselves and can do little for society. On the other hand, educated, trained and healthy people like Mishri are an asset to the nation. These people not only make a good life for themselves, but they also contribute to the betterment of society. Education, good medical care and training are the three investments that transform people into assets or resources. Such educated, healthy and well-trained people constitute the human resource or human capital of a nation. India's rising population is often seen as a problem. It is considered a liability to provide such a large number of people with food, education, health care and skills. However, the fact that an educated, skilled and healthy population contributes tremendously to a nation's productivity is often overlooked. In fact, the investment made in educating and training people and providing them with health care is more than recovered by the higher productivity of a healthy, skilled workforce. Great importance is attached to resources like land and physical capital like money and machines. However, imagine what would happen to these resources without human capital. Without human capital, resources like land and machines would be of no use and just waste away. This is because human resources put other resources to productive use and not the other way around. The difference that investment in education, medical care and training makes to human resources is evident in all production sectors including agriculture. The Green Revolution in India is a direct result of better knowledge and techniques provided to farmers. For many industries like the IT industry, skilled manpower or human capital is more valuable than machines and equipment. India's IT industry is a good example of how a largely human resource based industry can make a significant contribution to the country's gross domestic product or GDP. Japan is another good example of a country that has achieved great success by investing on the education and health of its people. The efficiency and technological skills of the Japanese 
are evident by the fact that Japan exports more than it imports despite being poor in natural resources. Compare Japan's story with some countries in Africa that are enormously rich in natural resources but have largely uneducated and unskilled populations. These countries are the poorest nations in the world. Any child with an investment in education, medical care and training can become a useful human resource. The responsibility to make a child a useful human resource rests with the parents. Educated parents are more inclined to spend on their child's education, health care and training. The child who grows up to be a good human resource similarly takes care of his children. This forms a virtuous cycle. On the other hand, uneducated parents are less inclined to invest on their child's education and health care. The child who grows up with such disadvantages tends to keep his children in similar deprived conditions, creating a vicious cycle to produce poor human resources. You are in school which shows that your parents are willing to invest in your education. It is your responsibility to work hard too. Choose a vocation that interests you and become useful human capital for your country.